Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, karibu sana. I'm Miss Munga and thank you so much for stopping. Remember to subscribe, like, share and leave a very nice comment as you always do. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. So in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell to get notified every single time we upload a new video. And as you have read on the title, we'll be doing how to plan for 2024. I'm having a very, very very bad cold so guys first get me to 4,000 subscribers you can do this so get me to 4,000 subscribers like turn on notification bell to get notified every single time we upload a new video so guys i've been having a very bad cold honestly <coughs> a bad one but i couldn't postpone this video anymore because we have very few days left to the end of year and i wanted this video to come just in 2023 i never wanted to go with it until 2024 so i'm here pushing myself to shoot this content so guys i hope you guys will enjoy this video i hope this will be so helpful and i'm talking too much we need to get right into what brought here brought us here and that is how to plan for 2024 yeah so honestly a new year comes with a lot of expectations a new year comes with a lot of new year's resolution and all that and that's okay that's okay to dream big that's okay to have vision that is okay that's okay to yeah to plan ahead and yeah so guys i'm here to help you with that i'm here to share with you what i know and what will make your dreams and your desires come pass yeah so uh the first thing you need to do is reflect on the past year so this is the past year we are talking about this is 2023 you need to reflect on how your year was uh think of how it has been think of what you maybe wanted to achieve and you haven't just reflect on how it has been before you like think of planning for 2024 reflect and remember to thank god for that year because good health is not a joke and everything that you feel makes you happy even if it's one percent uh just reflect on it and just be grateful because there is so much to figure out about and to be grateful for in the previous year so just think about it and reflect and yeah you can also pray about it because you just need to tell god thank you so much i want to thank you so much because of this year i want to thank you because if it was not for you i, will, I wouldn't be this far if it was not for you i know you might have probably slept hungry for days you might have probably slept in a hospital all that but right now you are okay you are okay so that is another reason to thank god yeah uh the other thing is let things go so you need to let things go whatever happened in 2023 that is what happened so that is not in the past so you need to leave the past to the past don't judge yourself because of the experiences you had in 2023 don't judge yourself because of the things that you did and make you feel bad in 2023 I don't know what this line is all about hope it did not disturb me so don't feel bad about what you went through in 2023 just let things go because that is the first step of um working on your new year because if you don't let things go these things are going to be disturbing you for the longest time you'll try to move on but you can't but this will be as a result of what you went through in 2023 so you need to let things go and you know uh, people say when you're starting a new year that is why you hear people say i'm catching people off i'm doing this and this because people feel like when you're going to a new year that's a new you that's a new you and that is why you need to let go of things that happened in the previous year which is 2023 so you need to let things go you need to let things go the things that happened in the previous years and now live a new you you see how you don't want to go with other people in 2024 yeah so let things leave the you leave the you that is here now the current you and yeah so the other thing is define who you are you need to understand and define who you are you need to define your purpose and say i know who i am i am a simon guy i am strong i am um destined for greatness i am you define yourself you need to tell yourself that the good things and obviously you can't define yourself in a negative way you definitely have to define yourself in a positive way and tell yourself this is me and this is 
the greater me and i am destined for greatness and this is my purpose i have to live for a purpose and define yourself and make sure that you you are strong the moment you're going to 2024 you're going as a strong human being as a person who believes in themselves and all that yeah so the other one is create a vision board for me i don't say a vision board because i don't do vision boards but i do vision on a piece of paper or in a book so to make it easier i think i'll talk to about this in my first 2024 vlog so you need to have a vision you need to write it down on paper like the book of habakkuk 223 says god says god said write your vision on a tablet and i will i think it stayed on who something of that who will i can't remember but it's about writing a vision your vision on a piece of paper i think i'll leave the 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 verse here but it's about habakkuk 223 and it talks about writing it on paper so for me i do it on paper I'm doing it on the vision papers that's you but for me as the people says you write it on a piece of paper that is and funny thing is i was looking i'll talk about this in another video i was looking at my vision my 2020 you know for me i do a whole year and then i i have that for it as well but for me i do that in a i do it a whole year thing and then i do it in a summary of months and let me tell you i, I wrote it the beginning i think i did that video my first vlogmas video is i was looking at it i think yesterday and i was like what i was at i was looking at that book and i was i think i can show you i think even i'll take a photo of it i was looking at it like this and i'm like what what like everything came to pass and i'm like no when i was writing these things you know i just wrote them like i, I know i wrote them with faith but everything everything i mean everything and i was like god thank you i'm so grateful your girl is grateful and 23 vision board and i looked at things and i was like you mean this is happening you mean this happened and whatever never happened i'm like it never happened because of this and this it never happened because i had to focus on this and this so that is why and i'm like okay no problem i'll push it to 2024 you know and that's me i think i'll show you everything uh in the next vlog yeah i'll show you everything so and just write it on a piece of paper and pray about it make sure you pray about it god will send you angels and angels will they've been given that task to do that all that for you and they will do it they'll definitely do it and i don't know what to say but god is always so 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 faithful yeah so that is it other one is find your reason for being i think i've talked about this you need to find your reason for being there you need to find your reason for your purpose you need to find your purpose and the other thing is let fear guide you that is point number six um you need to let fear guide you because when you are afraid what if if you have a vision if you have let me say a, a vision of maybe getting to saving to up to a hundred thousand and on that 100,000, you have a plan of doing something with it. You need to let fear guide you. What if I don't get to that 100,000 shillings, Kenyan shillings, or what, or dollars, or whatever? What will happen? What will happen? So I need to put more effort. I need to work towards achieving that. What if I don't do this? What if I don't? You need to let fear guide you. And it is not in a bad way. It's meant to be, it might be in a good or a bad way, but you need to, to let it guide you because when you have the fear of, if i don't achieve this you're going to put more effort you're going to work towards everything because honestly even planning about a new year, it's not just writing it down or just saying it you need to work towards something because you know yourself and you know what like whatever you need to achieve you might be solo you might even feel like maybe things are not working out for you but then you need to write it down and pray about it and work work on it you need to let fear guide you for you to achieve that uh then you need to set your yearly goals i have this book that I, I do my goals and all that but unfortunately i don't have it here with me i started last year and it's so nice and you can just plan your goals you need to plan your goals what to achieve you need to work on what 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 just plan your goals and work towards them the other point is up, upgrade your habits 
yeah you know maybe your goals are to save your goals are to, are to keep fit because i mean i was looking at my last year goals and i was like to keep fit and i'm I still adding weight i'm like it's to 2024 i hope honestly i've been saying so hard with my weight i don't know guys you can uh, comment down below what i can do but i'm honestly not complaining i'm comfortable but i wouldn't mind to lose some weight so uh you have to upgrade your habits if it's saving just know how you manage your money if it's your eating habits just know how to change all that yeah so you need to obviously work on something um the other one is start using a planner so a planner is very helpful there's i think on instagram you guys will see people who sell those planners there's the saving one there's the daily the weekly the monthly all that you can use a planner and there's something so good or something so different with writing something down if you write something down you you realize that you have done it up um you do it more than just saying it in your mind if you say it in your mind you'll probably find that you never did it but if you write it down you'll find when you look at this you'll be like i did i did i did and what if you do it you become more encouraged wow i can do this oh ni, 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 ni. so you'll just become more encouraged every single time you are down your goals so this is what i was saying you can have your year goals together and then start from january have your monthly goals um each month set your goals uh try and achieve them if you don't push them push them push them by this you'll see that the goals were so huge you wrote goals that felt like there were so many but when you have broken them down you feel like you it's easier for you to achieve them compared to like i won't say this because this is my goal but i wanted to say if for example i have a goal of getting to 100 000 subscribers in 2024 and currently i'm at 4 000, it might not look so possible to get to 100 000 and yet i'm at am i even at four <laughs> my first thing manifesting so i'm at three thousand let's say and my 2024 end of year goal is to get to a thousand a hundred thousand it seems very impossible but it might be possible if i know how to work on on it so i might say by end of january i need to have gotten to at least eight uh feb i need to have gotten to at least 12 so if i get to at least 7k by january i am sure this is this is a goal that is achievable but if i just say 100 and it's just 100 every time even if i add one or two i won't see like i'm doing anything you see but if i have managed it and made it look a bit narrower and i'm like this is what i can achieve within this set month i'm sure i can do this if this is what i've set to achieve like maybe your finances within this set month i'm sure i can achieve it you see so you need to make it even if you plan it you just have to break down you need to break it down to something that is a, a bit manageable and all that so you need to review your goals you need to review your <coughs> previous year goals and this year and then always review them if it's <coughs> if you're in march 2024 you can always review your your overall year you can review your january goals and see the progress and the steps you are making and this will encourage you to either put more effort to be grateful and all that so you need to review every single day your goals and the last one is make a bucket list so uh honestly in my bucket list my 2023 bucket list i had i never had so many things but i feel like i have achieved so many this so many things this year it's been quite tough my year has been not let me say not the best but the previous two months november and december made me realize that so so everything happens for a reason so like it made me forget like the whole year problems that i went through and i was like no 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 like you know it gets to a point like i felt like this was probably my worst year i felt that way but these two months made me realize that this is my best year like this has become my best year because i was like so many things happened in the last two months the past two months have been so nice because i think i got my I got this is something else that i'll be talking in another video that you'll watch in 2024 but <clears throat> i was like 
I was so sad that many things, bad things have happened. Even I, I applied for my my monetization, I was rejected, and I was like, this is too much. This is too much. This is too much. But uh, I came to realize that immediately I I reapplied for for my whatever my monetization and that is that happened in november and i got monetized and then i have had two graduations i've graduated twice imagine i've had the best holiday with my family like this has been so nice like things have just happened smoothly like with my parents everything has just flown for the past two months and i'm like i can't even get that energy to say this is my worst year like this is just the best yeah you know i have gone through a lot i've gone through the most but then i'm just here to say this uh, this is my best year. and i'm like this is the year that i remember so many good things and in fact i even got my google adsense pin and you know to, and for you to get your google adsense pin means that you need to have got it to tend up to ten dollars on youtube and i've had so many people complain how hard it is to get to ten dollars i'm not saying it's simple but god did it for me like just god sent people came blessed my channel and i was like thank thank you god thank you god if this happened like years ago if this happened like those months that i wanted it to happen i think i will have already given up because things will need to be working the way i want them to and honestly i have so many reasons to be grateful and also for you need to have so many reasons to be grateful you might look at your um at your everything that you wanted to achieve and feel like i never but <clears throat> there's a reason so as i've said you need to make a bucket list that means that you need to have something that you're working with like you need to have a bucket list of things you want to get where places you want to go and you see you need to do all that and i'm sure everything is achievable if you put god first and you put effort and pray about it and you know i think I, I believe i believe everything is so possible so possible with god everything is possible guys so i think that's it i've come to the end of the video thank you so much guys for watching remember to subscribe if you haven't like share and subscribe can you get me to 4,000 subscribers get me to 4,000 subscribers we have a 2024 goal and we will need to achieve it it's not 100,000 but yeah you'll know it so guys thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so much guys so let's meet on the next one until next time god bless bye